Hello, my name is Jay Simmons. I am a software engineer in the Active Directory team here at Microsoft. I'm here today to demo for you the new Windows Laps Passphrase feature. So what is this about and why did we build it? Many of you are going to be already familiar with the traditional style passwords that are generated by LAPS. They are uh, very long. They're composed of letters and numbers and symbols, and they have a high degree of entropy, especially when you configure the passphrase, password link. Now, what are the downsides of those passwords? The downsides are pretty much around usability. So you've just if you're looking at one of these very long very complex passwords on the screen and you're trying to type it into a login dialog or you're trying to repeat it over the phone to somebody it can be really hard to get it just right and so many customers of course asked us hey what can we do about this and you know we got very specific and direct requests for passphrases so without further ado here let's just jump in here and take a look at what we're talking about so this is the Windows Labs Password Settings GPO. And you'll see here that this is the complexity dropdown. And if we select that, we, you'll see that we now have three new options down here for, pass to, that, for generating a passphrase instead of the more traditional style passwords that you can see up above here. Now I'll go into in a little bit into more details about the long and short word stuff, but for the moment, let's just give this a quick whirl. So we'll, we'll pick the first one. Now, when you select passphrase, any of the three passphrase option, the password length setting here no longer applies. Password age still does apply. Now, the new thing here is the number of, is the passphrase length. Now, this is not in characters. This is in turn, this specifies the number of words that we're going to use for the new passphrase. So, we'll leave it here at the default of six. Now, we're going to uh, configure a password backup directory. This machine, this target is joined to act on prem an on premises Active Directory domain controller. So we'll select that. And we'll just make sure the policy is run and then we'll retrieve the password. Now, as you can see here, instead of the more traditional looking password, we have a nice long, uh, fairly easy to read password. Variety, cherub, bronzing, ungodly discount appendage. So uh, you can see that these are pretty decent sized words and that there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Uh, but everything else about this, this, this long string acts as a normal password. So you could type in a login dialog and it would just work. Also consider that because it's just a string, all of the software that handles, that could handle passwords previously or query them from the directory will continue to work. So going back to the oh, wrong dialog. Going back to the password setting dialog, you'll notice. Let's talk a little bit more about these long words, short words, and, sh and short words with unique prefixes. So how do you build a passphrase? Well, in, in one sense, it's just as simple as having a dictionary of words, and you randomly select as many as you need, and then you just mash them all together, and that's your passphrase. Well, that, that's true technically, but there's a lot of uh, words in the dictionary that don't make, that are really obscure and don't make a lot of sense to be included in a passphrase. So when we looked at build, designing this feature, that's the sort of thing that we looked into. Uh, we we're very fortunate. Turns out there's been a lot of research in the last 20, some 25 plus years on what makes a decent passphrase. And it didn't make sense after we did some research to uh, uh, build our own dictionary. And so the dictionary that is used for passphrases in Windows Labs comes from the Electronic Frontier Foundation, which published a, uh, three different dictionaries for back in 2016. Now you can see that those, those three dictionaries correspond to the three descriptions you have here. One dictionary has fairly long words. One dictionary has short words with unique prefixes and one dictionary. The third one has short words. So let's try the second option here. Oh, I have to rotate the password. I still have to rotate the password. 
There we go. Now you'll see that we've selected uh, a new passphrase option. And I'll just refresh your memory. It's short words with unique prefixes. And so now we're getting slightly shorter words. Now we'll try the other one. Short words. And now with this one, you get much shorter words. Now a good question to ask at this point would be, um, what does this do to the complexity of these passwords that relates to their security? Uh, one of the calling cards of the old style passwords generated by Windows Labs is that they were highly complex and had a lot of entropy or, you know, randomness, if you will. Um, every customer will have to check this for themselves. Microsoft is very comfortable with the entropy of these passwords. Um, they're, we have done the math, and if you go into our online documentation for Windows Labs, you will find tables of the entropy levels for most of these settings for various lengths. So, and if you ever want to increase the entropy, you can, of course, always bump this up. So in here, this in this case, we're going to say 10 words in our passphrase. We're going to reset it. And it didn't work. Oh, yes, it did. Cake the... Cake, theft, wilt, ride, kiwi, guide, bleak, five, going, squat. So 10 terms. And you'll see that each of the terms is capitalized to make them a little bit easier to read. So we hope that this makes uh, working with these uh, secure local accounts much easier in the future. Uh, this should make it much, much simpler to re either read these passwords or to and repeat them over the phone or to read them off the screen and type them into a login, login dialog. Thank you very much.